Sure, there's no God, but I'm not buying this whole world is round bullshit. <laughs> God damn it! Hey, David. What happened? First of all, my bike just got stolen. Oh, no. God, that's terrible. Hey, where you been anyway? Were you on vacation? John, I, I've been wrongfully imprisoned for the last three years. <sighs> DNA evidence finally proved that I'm not a murderer, but that doesn't give me my life back. My wife, Debbie, died while I was in there. I lost my job, I've been intimidated, threatened, brutally raped and assaulted. I attempted suicide 17 times, all failures, just to deal with the daily horrors of that place and all because they got the wrong guy. Oh my God. I can't believe someone would steal your bike. That sucks. Anyway, I should probably get to the laundry room. Got some washing to pick up. Oh, and say hi to Debbie. She's a keeper. Always been a fan of hers. Debbie. You're my little angel bed with you. No, 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 no. What the hell? Someone got bleach on my clothing. Excuse me. Hi. Yes. Why is there bleach on my clothing? Because you got bleach on them? Oh, no, no, no. You see, I don't use bleach. Neither do I. Really? You don't use bleach? Have a wonderful day. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, hey, asshole, get back here. God, first Dave gets his bike stolen. Now my clothes get ruined. Hi, I'm TV's John Doerr, and I want justice. Hey, Officer Todd. John? Nice to see me again. It is nice to see you again. Um, I have a criminal living in my apartment building, and now I need the justice system. Uh, but just to be sure, uh, what is justice? Well, justice is basically, it's, it's, it's a process and it's, it's fairness to both the victim and the accused. Okay, so if someone destroyed someone else's property, is that a crime? It is. Okay, someone destroyed my clothing, all of my clothing, all right? They put bleach on it and I know it's them. Will you go shoot them in the face? Well, with your gun. There's there's a process, John. And there's an investigation, and, and he's guilty. Did you see the person do this, John? Did I what? See the person put bleach in your your. Clothes? I heard you. Okay. No, I didn't see it happen. Now are you gonna go shoot him in the balls or what? Well, John, it's not that easy. Shooting someone in the balls, just aim. You have to prove oh, beyond a reasonable doubt that that person did this crime. But I'm telling you, he was in the laundry room. He was the only other person there. He wears all white. He clearly uses bleach, yet he denies it. Why can't we just assume he did it? Or is that just circumcision evidence? Um, circumstantial evidence, yes. Um, That's what I said? Yes, she did. Um, unfortunately, we can't go somewhere with charges unless we can prove that the person did it. My gut tells me that he did it, and that is good enough for most people. Well, John, I would definitely do an investigation for you to find out if it was him and, and make sure we have all the evidence in line. If you're not gonna do it, will you give me your gun and badge and I'll go do it myself? Well, no, I can't do that, John. Why? Well, Why is that not, in trouble? is that not part of the rules? Yeah, I get Am in I trouble. Am I breaking the rules? You wouldn't want to get me in trouble, would you, John? You're no, I like you. Well, I appreciate that saying, it would get me in trouble. Why would someone destroy someone else's property? Well, there's lots of reasons why people make bad choices. Is it mostly because they weren't breastfed? Well, I'm not a doctor. Right. But I do know that when they do those kind of things, it's my job to bring them to justice. Yeah, well, all I want you to do is go over to my apartment building, arrest the person who clearly ruined my clothing, okay, before he does it to someone else. Don't you get it, Officer Todd? John, You're letting him walk free? I understand how someone else's clothing could be ruined. I know it's pretty serious. 
I do get it, John. But it's a process, and it's not something that happens overnight, and I know it's frustrating. But what you're telling me is that I need proof that he did it. Absolutely. And uh, sometimes you don't have the person red-handed, but there's evidence that can link him to crimes. What's the best way to collect DNA evidence? Would it be a blow job or a hand job? Probably a blow job, and then you can keep it in your mouth. You have to collect it. I think as far as the blow police job, world goes, I think probably blow job. But we usually do just uh, blood samples. The blood world. sample? How do you get that out of the? Oh, never mind. Well, if my gut telling me that he didn't isn't enough evidence for you, then I guess you're not going to help. On a completely unrelated note, could I borrow your gun, badge, and car for like two hours? Uh, no, just John, for a thing. I, I got it. I just got to do. John, no, I know what yeah. you're up to. Yeah. All right. Well, nice talking with you. Nice shirt. Nice face. David, what are you doing here? Gary gave me a job serving drinks until I could get back on my feet. Just covering for him while he's in court. He served his customers rancid meat. Now they all got diarrhea, so they're suing him. Anyway. Better get the rest of this rancid meat in the, in the garbage out back. Rancid meat that could surely give someone diarrhea. Huh. Court. I've heard of that before. Maybe I'll get me a lawyer. Take care of that terrorist living in my building. Oh, and I'm sorry. How about your face? That is a ruthless, ruthless combination of DNA. Oh my god. <laughs> 